That was way harder than I thought. <laughs> Sorry, say again? It's gonna be a brutal one today. I just showered, I just walked out here. <laughs> and this is what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling a little overdressed right now. Dude, I just put my dirty shirt on from yesterday because I figured the instant we start driving Why? anyway, it's just gonna stink. Why bother? It's bad. We need some wind. Let's get this wind yeah. traveling over us. All right, so thoughts on the palace last night? Pretty amazing. It was uh, totally amazing. Totally amazing, actually. I it was mean, quite an overwhelming experience, that's for sure. Just an epic building, right? We're talking about how how amazing like the craftsmanship is in every stone piece. Uh, and, yeah, to make that today would be impossible. I think impossible. You nailed it in terms of even if you had all the money, getting assembling all the craftsmen required to make it happen would be impossible. Right. By the way, did you guys know why this palace was built? No. It was because of a drought. Yeah, there was a drought and famine that lasted several years, and so the current Maharaja at the time was like, all right, I'll build this palace to give the farmers and workers of the region something essentially to work on and do to earn money and get through it, and it worked. Very thoughtful of them. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Is everybody starving? It's, it's a dubious <laughs> premise, but like, I guess he was on the right track. <laughs> I guess it worked. So, where are we off to now? We're headed to Beacon Air, and uh, I don't know what the actual, like, correct name of the temple that we're going to is, but there's a, uh, a Jainist temple that is uh, where, like, rats are sacred. Apparently the temple is like swarmed with rats, uh, but not in like a, I guess it depends on your take In a good way? In a good way. <laughs> like a, a creepy New York subway kind of way. Right? <laughs> All right. So we're off to Bickener to check out the rat temple. It's really hot out. It's starting to turn a little bit more deserty around here. There's sand everywhere. The only thing it's saving is really the wind blowing in from the doors here, which is kind of nice. I have no cash, so. These tires are roasting. You should feel the heat of those tires. I got some dough right now. Go Raimi. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Hi. Hello. You can whip shitties right Hello. there. Hello guys. Thank you very much. Wait. Thank you. Uh, Let's help you there. Yeah, of course. For sure, of course, for sure. Okay, excellent. Bye bye. It's okay. Everybody loves Aaron. Everybody loves the bear. Right, Big thank bear. You thank you. Thank you. No All right, let's hit the road. Made a road 
so I chai stop. How else to describe it? Excellent. He's our chef for this evening. We leave Dave alone for a minute, he's already got a crowd. You driving? Yeah, Vicky. Very cool. I know. Very cool. <laughs> yes. Good? From US. Uh, Canada. Canada. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Rock and roll. 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 Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Bonjour. Hello. Bonjour. So bien. I heard that French. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Comme si comme ça. Comme si comme ça. Uh, small amount of French. Yeah. I don't even speak French. No, I need to both English. Okay. Very cool. Good on you. Bye bye. It's okay. Heads up. Ciao. Ciao. Was that a giant fuck that situation? Yeah, you're taking shoes and socks off and everything. It smells like rats when you get close. That seems bad. Some good snacks if we want anything. I'm kind of so, so fucking hot. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I hope I didn't like push you out of that place, the Rat Temple, but. Nah, man. Dude, I don't. I also don't like how anywhere we fucking go, we're immediately swarmed by yeah. people. Yeah. Right. Did you guys get swarmed too? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not like you were, but. Not like you were. <laughs> I was. Uh, yeah, I was. Everyone was like yelling. You know, they're yelling at us. So that makes it sound like yeah. But like. Trying to get our attention. Everyone was trying to get our attention. Fucking kids running up to us. It's just not enjoyable. Yeah. Alright, we're just about to roll through Bickner, Bickler, Bickner, whatever the name is. We got this huge storm coming in. But suddenly it went from 110 degrees to like, I don't know, it feels like half of it right now. The rain's coming. for the night. They have a lot of swank hotels. The trick is just you gotta like find them online because you'll never drive around and find the hotels. Get in, idiot! <laughs> yeah. Go! So we're into our first tank of gas of the day. This stretch of road is boring. There's nothing going on out here. At least we have a tailwind. Yeah, yeah. But it's not super hot yet. No, it's true. So we're swapping drivers. Dave's up, I guess, right? As Whatever. per the order. As... All right, Dave's up. <laughs> so we'll swap out in the next tank anyway. 
We'll all have lots of time driving today. It's nice that it's not so hot, you're right. It's definitely more flat. No. And desert like out here. Still haven't seen any classic dunes yet though. One more fuel stop. This time we're gonna use up what we got in the jerry can. And we're gonna finally hook up our horn. Dave ordered a horn through Amazon. We're just going to pack it to make it work. We've reused the light switch. We don't need it anymore. Are you just gonna put it on? That's still like a momentary switch. It's just an on switch, right? Top it's a rocket? It. Yeah. yeah. Good enough. Yeah, Who cares? Exactly. It's not our vehicle. Good enough. How much is the horn? Super cheap, like seven bucks or something. Exactly. Who yeah. cares? Leave it here too. Anyway, let's get this thing fueled up and hit the road. Yes, explore India. Funny, this plate is from Kayla. Our plate's from Kayla. Awesome. Did you buy this car just for this? Yeah. Nice. Excellent. 96 too. Sorry? 96 model. 96 model, nice. 24,000. 20,000 rupees. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Are there other people doing the same? Oh. Yes? Really? Yeah. How many? Uh, there's a car club. Car club. Scrap. 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 No, no. Uh, other cars? Other cars? Oh, nice. Or just you. Very cool. Uh, okay. Okay. It's funny, we've got the same net. Yeah, so it's a rally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a rally of some sort. You guys are too fast. You guys are too fast in this. You gotta be slow. <laughs> and when it rains, we, we, we get wet. <laughs> what kind of car is it? Suzuki. 800? 800. guys are almost as dumb as we are. No, they chose a better car. How do you figure? They're protected from the elements. <laughs> True. And the people. Well, they don't have that problem. Hmm. This is good, meeting other travelers on the road. Very cool. See our horns? Hold on. <laughs> Extra lights, I noticed. Uh, you guys got your lights. <laughs> when did you when did you start your trip? July 3rd. Oh yeah? Uh. Okay. We started yeah, July 1st. <laughs> July 1st. We're almost at the end now. We've got one more day and we're done. Yep. One more day. One more day. Oh, you're leaving. Yeah. And then um, tomorrow we finish. Uh -huh. So we've done about uh, 3,000 kilometers. Oh. Yeah. To, 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 to here. So. Uh, we met some idiots. Uh, we are targeting 12,000 kilometers. Us, Sorry? Us, uh, we are targeting 12,000 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. Very cool. Oh, I'm ready. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, get in there. Oh, mm. Oh, 
That's pretty cool actually meeting other travelers. <laughs> Be safe guys, have fun. Sounds sounds high performance. <laughs> yeah. Hey journey. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We made it to the Desert National Park. Word of advice, don't try to drive the, the auto into the sand. You won't make it very far. And then once you make it, don't make it very far, you gotta push it back out because the reverse doesn't work anyway. That was harder than I thought. That was way harder than I thought. <laughs> so that's pretty much a wrap. Where are we? I think Jaisalmer. In the desert? Sands National Park or something like that. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, we made it. So we went from the highest elevation, and uh, what was that the name of the pass? The Lee Manali Highway or the Tingling La? Tingling La. Yeah. All the way down to the lowest elevation, which is, I'm assuming, the desert here. But uh, that was a hell of a journey. How Negative many? Negative 52 feet, according to me. My watch. How much? Negative 52. Oh, there you go. And we, how many kilometers did we do? Uh, over 3,000. Over 3,000. I don't think we met 30, 3,500, unfortunately. Mm, no. No, pretty good. Anyway, it was a long ass time stuck in an auto or rickshaw or tuk tuk or whatever the locals or the. I think it was 83 hours according to that GPS. Oh, was it? Yeah, and that was a little, little uh, missing some data, so. Right. Yeah. And I can honestly say we had this thing pinned everywhere we went. <laughs> we tried to maximize everything we could on it. But, um,. Even if it wasn't in fourth gear. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the climbs were first. First or second, maybe second. And uh, of course the altitude was sucked uh, as far as the performance went. But as it, we went slowly down, it got better and better, which was nice. And um, then it mysteriously got worse at the end. So maybe we yeah. cooked it, I don't know. I'm gonna say at 8,000 K, this thing's reached its life expectancy. <laughs> it's not running so hot right no now. Way that, no way, <laughs> no. no way. These. There's no way that they have 10,000 K in, in this country. They probably have 400,000 K. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah. If, with proper maintenance, I'm sure these things will go really far because this country is all about they do a lot of proper here. maintenance and <laughs> <laughs> no highlights. What do you think? I mean, I felt a greater sense of accomplishment hmm. after those first two days when we like did the mountains because I felt like that's when the most could have gone wrong. Yep. And it, it, we we did it. We succeeded. At the end, I don't feel that deep sense of accomplishment, but I'm glad I had this experience. Like it was a really amazing experience. Um, I think we tend to over discount the danger and how much can go wrong because it didn't. Yeah. But it's actually really dangerous. There's tons of times where if like one thing had just kind of gone sideways, it would have been a really really horrible day for all of us. Um, and Don't the country, yeah, the country is just dangerous in general. I mean, like you can eat shit that makes you really, really sick here. You, you know, there's, um, there are people that are not terribly friendly. I, I think fortunately we didn't encounter the, them, but um, th that's an issue. And the interactions with the people were were trying, especially for me. I mean, it, you're you're basically constantly getting harassed, even yeah. if it's in sort of a friendly manner. In the places that you don't really need to be for any reason, at a minimum you're getting harassed just because they're intrigued. And then the places you do want to be because they're touristy, you're getting like pitched and sold. So it, we have it, lots of footage of us just being swarmed by people, and it was like that everywhere we went, which is just awkward. Like maybe they didn't mean anything, but it just became an awkward sense of you know having somebody hang out like this to you all the time and not not saying anything they're just hanging out looking at you it was all right is, in the beginning yeah it was kind of a novelty but yeah towards the end it was uh it just got old you know i was thinking about this trip last night and because we went from the high to the low but if we went from the low to the high this would be a much different trip yeah because we would have ended up there with less people pros and cons i think i think it would have been tough to end with just constant climbing just 
day, hour Grind. after hour of grinding climbing. But I think there'd be some pros in terms of like you're you're kind of going into the beauty and into mm. the majesty of the mountains. So yeah, you know, pros and cons. So overall, would you come back to India? I don't know that I would come back here specifically, mm. uh, like you know, for for this. But I would like to go back and do Speedy Valley at some point, probably on a motorbike. And yeah, the same. I think the uh, motorbike is definitely an easier way to travel. And I also think there's the whole other side in the south or southern half of India, right? So I'm not sure if it's all the same. Those would be my two ways to come back, is just to go back to the Himalayas with a motorcycle specifically, or the south, because mm -hmm. the south is very, very different, and we didn't get to experience any of that. Yeah. I would definitely stay away from cities. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I second that one for sure. And then uh, from here we're off to Delhi and then back home. So after we ditch this pig. Um, great trip though. Yeah. Absolutely great trip. Definitely an adventure. I enjoyed, thoroughly enjoyed this trip. Thanks for tagging along. Um, catch us on our next adventure, <laughs> I guess. Good job, boys. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Sounds like the boys got it stuck. <laughs> Dude, I barely was gonna turn around and still got stuck. Yeah, just get in. Well, Dave, Aaron, I'll push you from behind. Hit it. No problem. Pro tip, bring two others if you get stuck. Bye, mamas. <laughs>